and irritation and inconvenience. What must we do? Searching for an essential service. Just to get next cook, we have to come out of the house. For 52-year-old Diane Johnson, it's a losing battle. There's no signal here. You cut your phone calls and the network, when you want to go into the in internet, say strictly no network. Forced to leave her property for a connection, the curfew adding to the anxiety. I have to go out of the yard and go to the next street. Then I find maybe for only for a few minutes next to work. And then it's finished. And it's a little bit dangerous because we're not supposed to go out, especially at 9 o'clock. Just meters away, a base station covering North Khaser's 5-kilometer radius. It was broken into on Thursday night. Wires cut off and stolen. CCTV cameras not spared either. The sought after batteries, at least out of reach, secured by concrete. But the service disabled. Guba Weska cool. Yeah, Guba cool. Unanga buke sungek. Yeah, no maga sometime. Uke su call. Nagoti network. Utoti phone. Yaka isa beans. When you put your data in, it's a problem because it won't go in your phone. It will show now there's a network problem on your phone. It's giving you signal for two, three seconds, five seconds. Phone is ringing in. All of a sudden it's off. There's no signal, no service. Cell tower sites have been plagued with theft and vandalism in the past years. It's a constant threat to a vital service. This is not ideal for our economy. It's not ideal for the country or the industry at large. Ernest Paul has been looking into the disruptive trend. This is our ability to monitor the network, keep a, keep a constant eye and know where to react. Rural areas are more vulnerable. Limpopo is the hot spot. 70% of our infrastructure with, pertaining to batteries has been stolen in the northern province, which is a deep concern because our ability to go back and replace that is going to take a couple of years. Out of the 1,500 base stations in Limpopo, we've got 100 down, so it's 10% of the network that is completely disabled, which is a large amount of uh, infrastructure. Gauteng looks a little bit different. We've got about 100 base stations down in Gauteng at the moment. Out of a total infrastructure, plus minus 2,700 base stations in Gauteng. Eastern Cape we got about 1200 base stations and Eastern Cape at this point in time we can see about 50 base stations down which is also once again a very high percentage but the point is um, there's probably not a town in South Africa that is not impacted by battery theft. The network provider has lost over 400 million rand in 2020 alone. Only a small number of perpetrators is nabbed we are seeing positive results. We, we're certainly not close to arresting everybody that is, that is stealing infrastructure from us. Um, we're probably dealing with at least 10 to 15 arrests a week. Um, but that you know, is a far lower number as opposed to the incidents that are actually taking place. And the fact that we're getting 10, 15, 20 year sentences for the theft of infrastructure is clearly for me setting up the, the right message. But still not a deterrent. Mobile services are increasingly interrupted. What must we do? Affecting emergency and security services, as well as tracking systems. It's widespread, affecting all mobile operators. The other impact is on the industry itself, because you're now using a lot of capital expenditure to go back and repair and replace, as opposed to expanding and improving. And that is really a big concern. And a concern for cell phone users, higher bills. Mara Ketamachabe, SABC News, North Khaser, in Soweto.